Hi guys, Spectre here, and welcome back to my Total Warhammer 3. Continue my Valkyrie campaign. <clears throat> Which is going not bad, not amazing. And I've got Cornet Authority maxed out. Which I'm not sure if I can only do it for her actually. I might be able to do it for others. Or I might cap out at 9. But then she's also got the chain sword, which is far better than her spear, so I'm just gonna keep her with that. Because she'll be an absolute character killer. Especially considering she can fly. And she might need it to be St. Bald as well. Mistress of Skulls. Murder. Now he has brought a second army in here. He did attack that, but it has ruined his army. His army's fucked. And unless they've got super recovery that we don't have, they're going to take a while to recover. They're not going to attack Aim a Vassal stuff because they're actually not warm a Vassal. And how that works exactly. Or they're not. What I'm planning on doing is killing Sigvald if I can. And then taking out the Fortress of the Damned. Because then the Ag Hall will become my vassal. And then I'll have a fourth Dark Fortress. And then I'm going to come back and I have to start taking stuff from Malekith. That's at least the plan anyway. But. The AI does like to throw wrinkles at you. Okay. Give my vassal loads of territory so hopefully they can build up bigger and better armies and stop just running around with these same two poncy armies. She's ready for 582. This is why. Cheeky bastard. Oh. She didn't know what was in the rest of his army. Refused. 
Right, there we go, now I can see. I hate the fact that I'm stood that far apart and he won't let me see what's in his army. So annoying. So he's got a skimmer for your king hero. He's only riding a horse, which is fine, because that means they shit until they're on mammoth. Mother Champions great weapons, they're dangerous. Mother Berserkers actually aren't bad at dealing with infantry, because they also have rage, don't they? Or Berserk, whatever it is. Yeah, they've got a better version than that one. And he's got six units of those. Three normal Marauders, not overly worried. Marauder Hunt's even less worried. Number of and Throne Axes, even less worried again. And two Skin Wolves. Yes, power. I can't really fight that. Save your skulls for me. This army coming in. Now I know for a fact that army can't take this city. It can't. The garrison's too strong. And the garrison's also fully intact. His army ain't. So he's not taking that. But he might try and come behind Valkyr and double up and attack Sigvald. Even though his units are injured. Weight of numbers can bring down better units. No scum. Does that Sigvald's been a proper pussy? Because he's got a not good twenty stack there. And he sat at the side of Shagrath. But Shagrath's got a full fucking 14 garrison. Catwoman. I can't beat that, I don't think. Not without taking ridiculous casualties that I don't want to take. To more death. Snow will never be a barrier to war. that been fighting like what 34 units against my 20 there will always be blood my army hasn't proven itself that much your wretched flesh will suffer oh god let me guess what you're gonna want declaring war Hmm. What I'll do is actually for the moment, since it's only 4,400 and I've got almost 40, I'll accept it. It's not too bad. It's about 10% dish. I need to be at war with Malekith in the future, just not right now. Because I've got. And I would have had Malekith one side, who's strength rank one, and then I would have Sigvald and his vassal on the other side also attacking me.
No, no. Build up an army. What are you doing? Why am I over there? Negral, that's his target. I crave the flavor of your freshly removed hearts. The road to carnage. Move her there. I wonder if that would apply to corny ones, I don't know. The vote to corner cost two thousand two hundred and fifty. Five turns that can be upgraded. And then it's gonna be another seven turns top of that, so twelve turns that's gonna be tier five. And we can destroy that and build that. Can build that and that and we can max these to our but these buildings are all really fucking expensive including that one 18 fucking thousand What? Stops right in front of me, bullshit. See, that's when you know that AI is cheating. Stops right in front of where your ambush is at. See, I love it when I see a uh, Norskin warchief on, on a chariot. Chariots are such ass. They really are. Your, your melee attack and defense starts go to absolute shit. Don't know what this guy's doing with this dinky little army.
bringer of glory. The Gore Queen. What? How does my hero do more damage than my lord? What? Mistress of skulls. Spill blood for corn. Oh no, 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 no. Come on. You get to die. Said about that, apparently I hadn't turned my alarm off. Bringer of glory. Right, I guess you're him. The gods. Carnets awakened. Move. Queen. Reforged for murder. Shit in the army. Oh, the money is stupid. Apparently. I would have thought he would have stayed where he were and moved away. <coughs> They can win that fight. Chaos Warriors are better than um, Road of Berserkers.
Mistress of Skulls. Started building, why not? Yeah, get it built up. Yes, my ruinous power. That's going to be pop five in ten turns. That's going to be in three, it's good. I need a bit of a gap between them definitely because with the fact it's going to be 18,000 with the 10% off. It's a lot. Right, Malakif's declared war on Eltharion, Tyrion and Alariel, so hopefully he's going to have his hands full. I'm going to be less concerned about me and he's going to send most of his armies that way. Sword Maiden of the Blood God. Be blood. So why'd you move that close then? The glory of war. I understand what Sigval just did there. For the blood god. You will serve destruction. For Warhounds units? No. Why would it give you a useless fucking thing like that? Who the fuck uses Warhounds? I don't care about that. Now see, if you're gonna give us a... ancillary like this, see? Just make it cast your punishment rate plus 10%. All units. Lord's Army. Don't make it a specific unit that no one uses. Fucking morons. Bring my throne. Why? Reforged for murder. Nobody's going to use Warhounds beyond the very, very early game. Because they can't do anything. Worthy of corn. So they've got 77 speed now. 30% missile resistance. Nice. That should help them. Between 140 armor and shielded. Hopefully to resist some um, range damage. That on his crap as well. I mean, he's got a few heroes in there. But the army's shit. Don't worry about that army. There will always be blood. I've just got two crap units I've still gotta get rid of.
Yeah, with this one, I might actually hold off. Actually, I'm going to get it to rank 10 anyway, it's fine. So rank 5, I'm going to devote him to corn. And see what happens. I suppose it does kind of explain why Sigvald's got probably quite a few armies around, because a lot of his armies have got a lot of bad units in them. And at least a lot of the badder units, like these, are generally a lot cheaper. We've got Chaos Warhounds. F fucking... Forsaken aren't great, to be honest, either. <laughs> a ring away, are we now, pussy? Tried to wait there in ambush stance, which is now just left him in the open as long as I can reach him. Blood is infected. Two turns on that, yes. Then I first tier five one. He chose to stay and fight. Okay. Spare none. Bye. I am your master now. Bringer of glory. This is only at tier 3 as well, so his garrison isn't amazingly strong. Reforged for murder. Give her a talisman. He can pigeon pluck a pendant. He's not got two of those, minus five attack, and that's minus five attack and minus ten percent speed. Consort of corn. <laughs> we do want that, don't we? loads of point spare as well to be completely honest I'll put point in it because then the red tree is done and I ain't gotta go back to it basically because we are gonna be having two there in place of the marauders so I just haven't got them yet because it's just I might be able to recruit them Is that the best 
best they could give us. Cavalry side's all complete, it's just a matter of them being ranked up. <coughs> I don't think they've got anything else to gain off research, have they, I don't think. I mean, that makes them get experience faster. I could do that after Hoon Bleeds, if they still need it. Then again, other armies can need it anyway, aren't they? Get Ogre Charge there. <coughs> so they do gain like a new passive ability. That's about it. Right, okay. So they're basically done. And then it's just a matter of turning these into Chosen. The chosen being 330 or 280 a piece are pretty expensive. I'll probably upgrade that one, to be completely honest, that one's not too bad. Sword maiden of the blood god. And then it's just these I've got to do, but they are... Well, it's, a, it's a 130 increase per unit. And they lose 20 entities. They go from 100 entities down to 80. And obviously I'm bringing in quite a bit of money. But I also need to think about this guy. and trying to get him an army. Because giving Malachi for that money, it might buy you some time, I'm not sure what it does. Some have speculated it's the same as like a peace treaty, it might buy you 10 turns. But 10 turns, quite frankly, isn't that much. Are they stupid? Okay. Can you build more than two armies? Ten growth all provinces. Nice, I'll take it. One turn on that. It's going to shrink by 18,000 next turn then. And that's the other thing, the buildings are about to become bloody expensive. I'm not going to bother attacking this, because if I can take that, then my vassal. I 
I don't plan on going any further this direction. Sigvald can keep the rest of what he's got because these are also Sigvald's vassals. But I'll just then use this as like basically like a, a frontier outpost sort of thing. It might be worth bringing them down. And he can sit in the um, newly cleaned area and he can stay there. Upgrade into tier 5, so we don't need that anymore. That can be destroyed. Carnets awakened. That will incur my wrath. As if I'm mortal. Right, if we just can move to attack, it can the move to there. Queen. So we don't want to move that far, we'll move to here. save as well. Okay. Looking at now he's going super offensive. Are you Taking all the alcohol shit. This weather 
writhes like a savage animal. We attack soon. Chaos. No. Well, there's another dark fortress right there. Oof. Mistress of Skull. There is quite a few of these ways. Oh, when you're not being that far, it might be worth taking that one as well. Not and that linked to something else though, Twisted Towers. That's linked to something else down this way. I'm not going any further that way though. Embedded in the that's a problem. I'll just get him to go and set up in there for the time being. And when I go back, I'm going to flush out Valkyrie's army completely before I declare war on Malekith. But it's, if I can beat Sigvald's army in a siege, there will always be blood. That's the question. He says I can auto him. What? Against the Dark Fortress? How the fuck strong is having always of? Unrelenting murder. Fair enough, get fuck signaled. You are my people now. So they should. Northmen come. Now I'm not the enemies anymore, I think. Norska! Straight to business. Where shall we raid next? The longships are ready. I'm paying you for it. Fuck that. See, he's at war with Siggy and the Crag, yeah. True savages. To be honest, I'd rather be raiding. But you have my time.
Understood. I thought I was going to have to have a badass siege there, but I didn't. Because I can stop many units in the siege. With Sigvard in there as well, that would have been annoying. To recover fast as well. What, like two turns? I can help. Yeah, I'll take it. We don't need that one at the moment because we need growth. That does give growth as well, though, which is good. Reforged for murder. Woman, consort of corn, I mean, that one's not bad for souls gained from battles. Obviously, experience gained when fighting forces of order, you're not going to get much of that up here apart from maybe the High Elves. And this one's not bad as well. Post-battle chance to learn a magical item, and then income post-battle loot, which is basically just more income. They can both have the uses. She's at 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, still got 48, 49, I've only got one point then anyway really. So I'm going to put one point in that for 5% more post bottle loot or one point in there for 10% souls gained. My proficiency is unsurpassed. Oh yeah, I can have you move now, Connor, yeah. Oh yes, yes. Lord of Corn. I 
Ah, right. And then at rank 20, I can upgrade him to a demon, a demon prince of corn for 5,000. It changed his trade. Flower. Exalted me slaughtered. So he got rid of his um, armor and his mass, getting leadership or a size plus forty percent instead. But then it's getting marked a lord, but undivided authority plus two, own army. Why undivided authority? If he's got a mark, surely that should be corn authority, or whatever mark he would have. That doesn't make any sense. Weird. The land is infected. Lord of Rage. Is that possible at five already for some reason? Not sure why, but okay. still rather have that for the physical resistance but I think he loses that though when he becomes a demon prince I can't remember my demon princes having it in my Archeon campaign demon princes do give a certain tactical flexibility though I'm a piercing anti-infantry frenzy. Oh, that's the thing as well, because these aren't on piercing, are they? I don't think these. No, they just get bullshit of it. Demon princes are on piercing, aren't they, as well? Yeah. Well, we can see. We can either get him to 20 or get him to a bit further on, like maybe 30 or 40 or something, and then make him a demon prince. There's stuff in there for us. You yeah, actually normally lose half, wouldn't you? Minus 25% souls cost to upgrade characters to a demon prince of corn. Right, so I'll take that 5,000 and knock it down to 4,000. Something. It's like 1,250 off, isn't it? Something like that. 
Alright, okay. Let's see, that's a more scary armor that he's bringing to bear. And this time it's weird. I think this guy, by it looks at it, it seems to cycle from one primary god to the next. Because I've never seen him fully devote to Undivided and just take a mixed bag army. Because in my Tyrion campaign, it was pretty much rocking all corn units. In this campaign, it seems to be rocking all Zinch units. It just seems to go from one of the mono gods to the next and just litters his arm with them particular types of units. Some of his other generals, they might have maybe some more mixed units in their army, but the Demon Prince himself will always have like one particular god. Twisted Towers is all the way down there, yeah, I'm not fucking good all the way down there. If that's what he wants to do, he's more than welcome to it. That would have been nice beforehand. We don't care about when about palm reserve because we don't have any sorcerers with corn. Our sorcerers are our scouts, that's it. Corn's way. The cold is unnoticeable in the heat of battle. Alright, so we're back there. I'll just go in there, yeah? Yeah, okay. So where the fuck is the boundary line then on this thing? Can't see shit. Just so you can make it more discernible. Reforged for murder. Garrison like on this. Ugh. It's gonna need growth though, it's gonna grow really slowly. So this one's a port one, so it can earn I actually can't earn money. Oh my god, they don't get any money from the port whatsoever. I've just realised. Have I just noticed that? So we get minus 20% recruitment costs for Chaos Marauders. Which is shit and cheap to begin with. We don't get any money from a port at all. So port's actually fucking useless. For Warriors of Chaos. Come on, CA. Come on. You couldn't at least give us something like, I don't know. 500 gold or something when it's maxed out at top level. Maybe 300 for the smaller one. Could go one, three, five. 
to not give you any money whatsoever. That fucking sucks. And there can't be many dark fortresses that are also a port. That's a missed opportunity if I've ever seen one. Of your demise. Let me guess, peace treaty. The thing is, Sigvald, I want that dark fortress city, buddy, because it's right there. So, no. Once I've taken that, then you can have a peace treaty. Vindex? Isn't that like a window cleaner? Something that we'll definitely see, since the moment we don't have access to a casual trade punishment hero for Warriors of Chaos. I'm hoping when they bring in the cultist for Warriors of Chaos, because we should have the cultist, um, since you can have the exalted champions or whatever it is, they can have their demon version covenant and chaos sorcerers for the mono god factions. They should also have access to exalted champions. But they'd probably offer a similar sort of thing. As the ones we've already got. Exalted hero of corn, rest before the killing. Unhold some bloodlust. Yes, yeah, so he can get in three there. Can get a fourth one there if we wanted to. Come on, what did I take that with him? What did I take with him? No, I didn't know. So I don't need to take that. They can have their Hellblade. Hat woman. Gifts for the champion. Sword maiden of the blood god. Your feet should bleed. My magic is yours. This weather rides like a savage animal. And that, then if we have to resolve that with Siggy's army in it, that's going to be no problem in a lot of resolve. And then we can upgrade that and I'll build the walls. We'll get the walls built. Make sure it's nice and safe. Exalted and slaughtered! We'll get rid of them. I don't see any point in having them, they're too expensive. First 
for battle. Let the slaughter commence. We can make corn units so much cheaper. War and slaughter. Tim's an okay man, he gives him a half stack. There will always be blood. Mistress of Skulls. You won't need that though. You can get it without it. Carnets awaken. Yeah, you can get that on every lore, which is fortunate. So between four and him, that's seven. Snow will never be a barrier to war. In case you get one corn authority for each active gift of corn. I didn't even realise I have that one to be completely honest. Um there's that one there that gives all authority plus one, and that one there that does. So that's another two. So that's nine there alone. And then obviously that one's going to fill it in. The active gifts of corn, because you are going to have some of the gifts of corn. I've got two of them. Because the Blood Greed one is awesome, it buffs all your units. And then they, they're going to rank up 15% faster. There's no reason not to have that. And there's this one here, Slaughterer's Glory. 100 experience per turn for your characters and the same for units when I've got the research. But I'm going to do that research after Hung Bleeds. I've got to that one, then I get that one. There's no rush. No rush. I've got 19 out of 35. That's going to make 20. So I'll need another 15. I've just got to get that. So I'll just occupy all these myself. So I've got the entire thing under my control. And if all his armies have left, I could take a fair portion of his stuff before I can even respond. Then Iron Foothills is Malakiv's, Malakiv's place, isn't it? Yeah. I can't believe that's not a dark fortress. I really can't. Nagarond itself. Carnage, the exalted one. A step too far. The cold is unnoticeable in the heat of battle.
If you come for blood, it will only be... Uh, I don't think so. How about you pay me, bitch? Wanted three and a half grand off me. Can't forget that shit. Cheeky fucker Sigvald. Hey, Sigvald Wolfric. That's the next one, the good one. So I get a bigger charge bonus to put <coughs> experience rank. But then the rage for all dual action units, the rank four and above. Rage really good. That's similar to what um, Rudder Champions have got. The blood God. I think Rudder Champions have actually got something better. I think theirs is Berserk or something. Commands outside, bless him. But I do need that, I do need the growth building. Yeah. Sword maiden of the blood god. Just stay there for the time being. Right, where's Siggy at? Siggy's got two left, okay. So he's got Twisted Towers. He must have dealt with my last Dark Blade then. He must have got something else down here. Right, I'm gonna leave Sigvald alone. I don't need anything else from Sigvald. I'll Despoiled. even see if he wants a peace treaty. Does your tribe come to me for so for now? Well, peace treaty and he paid me eight grand for it <laughs> problem solved what shit but I'm not at war with anybody Bugger. chaos I am elevated beyond mortal pleasures but I will take joy your destruction. Sure you will. Demon Prince I'm not worried about at all. Valky will just slap you out of the sky.
Oh. Just a reminder. What's part of this thing? Glacier Cameron, which is that one. And Iron Frost. This one. That way, at least, I've not got to worry about Sigvald for at least 10 turns. It does mean it gives him 10 turns to build up his forces, but it was going to have that anyway, unless he was going to attack my forces constantly. But it means I've got 10 turns to buy him some time and breathing space. It means I can build up the defences here. I can get this built. You know, I can be prepared. And then these... Dark fortresses shouldn't really fall to anything Sigvald can bring against them. Even two armies on, on one, I should be able to win that fight, really. And he can just stay here to support this frontier. Seems we're not war with his vassal either. Oh shit, I probably should have taken those first. Because then I could have got the thing of the commandment and made the building's a bit cheaper. Didn't think about that. Never mind. Um, but right, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like. If you're new around here, please drop a sub, help grow the channel, and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care, everyone. Have a great day, and I'll speak to you all very, very soon.